and thank you very much for sharing the day and for sharing your weekend with us. We're so, so happy to be here and we're so thankful for this wonderful opportunity. And for us today, coming out of several months of no live performances and only a couple of chances to be together as a trio in, in other capacities, today is kind of a chance for us to go through our own kind of development and through the repertoire that has brought us closer together and brought us to being the ensemble that we are now. So the piece that you heard, um, Trio Elegiac Number 1 by Sergei Rachmaninov, was actually part of the very first CD that we ever recorded together. The program was called Youth, and it was structured in such a way as to give quite well-known composers a chance to, well, to be heard as their younger selves. So we had all sorts of composers who were all under 30 when they'd written, and Rachmaninoff was the very youngest of them all. He was still a teenager when he wrote this trio. And uh, now we're going to pivot toward the program that we just released quite recently in November with Autodeck Records. It's called Connecting Identities, and it's a CD that you can find on our website. You can find it on Spotify. You can find it all over. Um, and the very first piece on that album is called a Yauga Yauga, and it was written actually by my father, who is, I think, a wonderful composer, and we've come to really enjoy this piece all together as a trio as well. And it's a piece that really does connect our identities, since the three of us have one geographical point in common, which is Lithuania, and many divergent points. We're quite international, and I think that in some way or another, we represent the major groups that in, inhabited the area in the last century, century and a half. We represent the ethnic, sorry, the ethnic Lithuanians, the Jews, the Poles, and the Russians, um, four groups that didn't have the easiest history but all really contributed to making the country as rich and vibrant as it has been and it continues to be today. So this first piece actually takes from the Lithuanian tradition of the Sutartine and um, Joel Hoffman, my father, works with several themes that we heard actually together. We worked together and listened to some wonderful groups who were doing performances of the Sutartine form. This is always a song that is sung by women, and it is usually sung by three women. And it is a sort of a round, so a canon, but it's a canon that's very dissonant. It's a canon that is really structured around the interval of the second. And so you'll hear that right away with the very first piece, Oshe Pati Martala, and you'll hear it throughout the work. It's in four movements, and we hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
it was funny because when we were working on this piece with my father and we were looking at the different songs that we should incorporate and that he wanted to cite in this work, he asked us in which way we would want to end and how the last movement should be. And it was pretty unanimous between the two of them who have a lot more experience living and being a part of the Lithuanian culture that this fourth movement needed to end the piece because it is how a Lithuanian story would end. So we hope that in this moment in which traveling is not so easy and in which exploring new places um, is not self-evident, that this can be something a little bit different from a, a picture or a 3D tour in order to experience a bit of another language, a bit of another culture, and a bit of another history. So that was A Yauga Yauga by Joel Hoffman. Now we're going to move actually toward the future in the sense that our newest project that we've been rehearsing and preparing um, that is not quite finished yet is a tango project. So we want to look at a lot of different aspects of tango, not just pieces from Argentina, but also pieces that influence that art form and pieces that came after kind of the bulk of what we would consider being tango as well. So we have two small pieces to finish out the program today, and one is called Yucali by Kurt Weil, and one is called Valz Amargo by Galliano. And these two pieces were both arranged by Gilvenas for our ensemble with a little bit of our own input as well. So this is a bit of a collaboration in bringing these works to our own format. Enjoy. <laughs>
Danke. Danke. <lacht>